What's poppin', my beautiful people? It's your boy, CJ Papuro. Happy Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Week, the 1st through the 7th of December. Hey, guess what? We got some new merch coming in. Colitis Veteran, Ulcerative Colitis Awareness Week. And check it out. We want to do a little sale. So the earnings that we get from this new merch drop, we're going to put towards an IBD charity. Definitely get back to you guys on that one. A little bit about myself. For those who don't know me, my name is Carlos Cabrera. I go by CJ or Papuro. I am 26 years old, a USMC veteran, and I advocate for IBD on Crohn's Veterans. I was diagnosed in 2017. During that time, I was going to school. I recently got out of the military in 2016. 2017 is when I started to feel symptoms. That was blood and stool. We thought, as the doctors and I, that it was hemorrhoids because of all the heavy lifting I was doing. They tried to put me on a high fiber diet and wheat, ended making things worse for me. Ended up making progressively bleed more. And then it ended up landing me in the hospital a couple times, the ER. And, um, you know, pain is a great teacher, you know? <laughs> if you're too hard headed to change, pain will make you change honestly and pain has matured me a lot in my IBD journey and I'm kind of grateful for all the L's I've taken out because I wouldn't be here today without them. Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are both inflammatory bowel diseases. They affect the gastrointestinal tract which is short for GI tract and if you don't know what that is that's anywhere from your mouth to your anus. So Crohn's disease affects anywhere from your mouth to your anus in patches, okay? And ulcerative colitis affects um, only your large intestine, only the innermost lining of it, okay? So they're both bad, you know? I, I see them both as a blessing and a curse for myself um, because without ulcerative colitis, I feel like I'd honestly not be liking the life that I had visioned for myself, you know, before ulcerative colitis. Right now, I'm 26. When I was 20 years old, I was still in the military and I was like, by 25, I'm going to be married. <laughs> I'm gonna have a kid. I'm gonna be working either in police or SWAT. You know, I had my whole life planned ahead of me. And then I end up getting out of the military, start that journey to go to school. And during that journey, I start to get symptoms. But thank, thank the Lord that I, I hunkered down and I finished my associate's degree before it got worse. And then I end up transferring over to a four-year college and I start and in the beginning of the semester, I just start having problems. Like I start to get sick. Um, I caught three different infections. And when I tell you guys, I did not want to live. It was the worst time of my life. It was the worst time of my life. Like I caught bronchitis. I caught a sinus infection. Like, like, oh my gosh, guys. Like when I tell you I'm in school with a sinus infection and a bad flare. Like I have like this big pressure in the middle of my head. My sinus is like all clogged up. I'm just like, 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 <laughs> like trying to like hold in and like be cognizant and like listen to the professor. And then I had the sense of urgency hitting. I'm just like, shit. Okay, so one, I feel like shit. Two, I gotta go to the bathroom a lot. So I, I end up going, I come back and I wait like five minutes and the professor's still talking and I'm still there with my sinus infection blowing my nose. And then next thing you know, I have to go again. And I'm like, crap. So this is like two times in one class. And this is, I think this was a, like a history class, but uh, I went two times, ended up toughing it out, holding it till the end of class. And then at the end of class, I was in there for like 15 minutes. And that's what I had to deal with. I, I literally had to play around ulcerative colitis. Like, I'd have to leave my house like an hour, an hour, 
30 minutes early, get get to class or get to campus. I had to park off campus, so it was literally like a 30 minute walk to 45 minutes to class every time. And then I had to, you know, also take in consideration that my sense of urgency. And during that time, I didn't really plan for that. I was just trying to get through it. I remember one story where I was in class and I was having like this heavy sinus infection feeling in my in my nostrils and in my in the front of my head. And I was just like speed walking to my car because I felt it in my gut. I was like, yo, it's about to attack. And like, I was holding my gut like this and I had the biggest sense of urgency. I was like, yo, if you don't use the bathroom right now, you're gonna shit yourself, 100%. So I'm, I'm like walking like this and I literally had to sit at the light <laughs> for like five minutes or not five minutes for like what felt like five minutes but it was honestly like a minute and um i had to like speed walk across and surprisingly i made it to my car in the car driving i'm still having this feeling so i'm driving like this right and I get to around the corner and there's a giant and I speed walk into the giant and I find the clean bathroom and it was perfectly, it was perfectly fine. But there's an example of sense of urgency for me. Like sense of urgency really humbled me. <laughs> it made me think the way I moved, honestly. So it's not, it's not bad, but that's when I know my ulcerative colitis is bad. Whenever I have sense of urgency, that means I'm doing something that's not right. I'm gonna talk about some of the symptoms that I felt. Just just list them off, I'm gonna read them off the list right here, just so you know. So right here I written down bloody diarrhea and mucus, abdominal pain and cramping, rectal pain, rectal bleeding, blood and mucus in stool, sense of urgency, needing to go to the bathroom, and then the inability to actually go despite your urgency. That is the complete worst. Like when I tell you, when you have to go and you're on the toilet and your stomach is cramping and pushing and hurting and making you go and nothing is coming out, you're fucking hurting. Excuse my language, but you are hurting. And poop might not come out or diarrhea might not come out, but blood and mucus is definitely going to come out, 100%. And then accompanied with that, obviously it's gonna be weight loss and fatigue and brain fog. But I also do get brain fog from medication as well. Medication, <laughs> a big one, guys. I know a lot of people don't like taking medication, but I feel as you gotta do what you have to do in order to survive. Every day I'm over here taking like a handful of pills, just every morning. I mean, sometimes you gotta do what it do. And then once, I think it's gonna be once a month, I get a Stelera injection. It's just, let's just say it's like a needle and I just inject myself. They mail it to my house, nice and easy. It beats going to the hospital, but make sure you stay on top of your medication if it's something you need, because honestly, medication can save you. It really can. Why I advocate I advocate for a lot of reasons, honestly. Um, I just love this community. When I was first diagnosed and I was lost and scared, I joined a support group on Facebook and I was in there for a little bit, like a week or two, but I didn't say anything. I was just peeping everybody's posts, seeing, you know, what people were talking about in this community. And it was just, you know, I saw it was all love. I saw people were going through the same thing I was. I did not feel alone anymore. I did not feel hate towards the, I was not angry anymore. Like my mental health, when I was diagnosed, went down the drain. I was severely depressed. I felt like I lost my life, but in a sense, I gained a new one and a better one. You know, something more rewarding, I guess. Something more healthy, something not damaging like I was living before. I found, or I didn't find, Cohen's veteran pal. Jordan McConnell uh, on Instagram he he asked me for an interview and you know I told him my story we hit it off uh, maybe like a week or two weeks later or maybe a day later or two days later who knows I don't remember the time I'm brain fogging it right now <laughs> but 
we hit it off and he asked me to be a co-host and we've been advocating ever since and shout out to Renika because she's a third co-host she's she's awesome too so you guys should check her out but we're honestly just trying to uplift people with IBD and rich people's lifestyles you know hey I'm also trying to you know bring some drippage into the effect <laughs> so this holiday season we're about to be dripped up it's all love guys honestly I love everybody I've talked to I've heard so many amazing stories like literally every time we do an interview or a live stream and I hear your guys' story it just motivates the crap out of me to just keep going and just like keep pushing like like it makes it seem like what I'm going through I'm not going through alone you know what I mean there's like everybody is going through their own things but we're all here to support and to lift each other up and be here for one another because you know IBD sucks but we don't have to be mean to each other we we all know what the heck we're going through okay so that's all I got guys um if you watch the whole video I want to say thank you thank you for everybody who's been supporting us from the jump honestly from the start of Crohn's Veteran, um, who's been supporting Jordan, who's been following me, who's been following Renika. Um, make sure I'm about to throw some plugins right now, but make sure you follow our official <laughs> Instagram channel, which is at official.crohn'sveteran. And then you follow the team, you follow the founder, uh, Jordan, at Crohn's Veteran. Then you follow myself at Popuro. You can follow Renika at Crohn's underscore and underscore sexy with two X's. And then you could also follow us on our YouTube page at Crohn's Veteran. Our Twitch channel, which is under Chill Ghost. And, you know, you could follow me <laughs> on my YouTube channel, which I do CBD product reviews, which I haven't done in a minute. It's been like two months. But I also do IBD Blunt Talks, which is another series I'm going to, you know, try to keep going with to, you know, for awareness, guys, for awareness. But if you made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you guys again. I love you guys. And God bless.